Hello, Leo from Guzman Roofing. This is Joel from JND SEO. And I'm going to show you three ways you could improve your website and actually beat your competition online. All right, so at the end of the video, if you guys have any questions or want to hear more information, we could set up a five, 10 minute phone call. If not, I'm going to give you a bunch of free tips and strategies in the video that you guys could go ahead and apply directly to your site. So the three topics we'll talk about today are content, backlinks, and citation. So we'll start with content. As you can see, I'm on your homepage here, and I'm looking to see about how much content you guys have. You guys do have a couple testimonials, some pictures of uh, yard signs that you guys have with your location as well as some of your contact info. I know you are on a business site, so you might be a little limited by what you can do, but you guys definitely have under 100 words of content. And if I do any search on Google, right, so if I put in Roofing Memphis TN, which is just a keyword for the area, there's really three ways you can get on the first page, right? You could pay for ads to be at the top. You could get some citations and be on this map pack or Google My Business in the top three here, review all. Or you could get in the organic section, which is to show up in these 10 results here. Now, I'm going to take the top company that shows up in the organic section, which is Masters Roofing. And I'm going to show you their site as well. So they've got a little bit more on their site right now. And you can see they've got their um, other links up here to other pages. They've got all of some of the services that they offer, our showroom and whatnot. And if we will go ahead and count their content, we're going to see that they have, I believe it's about, was it 600 words? Yeah, about 597 words of content that they have on their page currently. Now, Google recommends having about 1,500 words to 2,000 words of content. That's what's going to optimize your site and they're going to rank it higher. But you don't just want content. You want to make sure you have keywords like this in the content. So this is just an example. 70 people search this every single month online on Google. And so what I'm going to do is the other thing is, right, we talked about the words of content we want as well as the keywords in the content. But Google also wants to know they can trust your site. So I'm looking at your business site now, guzman-roofing.business site. And right now we can see none of the information for the numbers is really showing up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop over to Masters Roofing and show you what theirs is doing. First thing we see, we don't see any headers up here. If we did, then that would mean they have um, some headers in their page, which allows Google to find them a little bit easier. Now, these two numbers here are the most important. So for the UR, that's the trust with Google right here, this UR number. This DR is going to be the power behind your site. Now, both of these wheels go to 100. So we can see that Masters Roofing doesn't have too much power behind their site. So that's an area where they actually could be beaten. But their trust is at a 17. So let's talk about backlinks. Backlinks are links that you have on your site. When people click these, it's going to redirect them back to your site. Just like this link here for Masters Roofing, if I click this, it's going to bring me to their website. It's going to open their website page. Now, referring domains are just other websites that have these links on them. So right now, they have 210 links on referring domains. A great example would be like a Facebook business page. <coughs> A Facebook business page would be your referring domain, and then the link on it where you put your web address, that would be your backlink. When you click it, it's going to bring you back to your site. Now, with 110 different websites pointing back at Masters Roofing, we can see that 92 of the 110 are strong links. Now, that's going to give them a trust with Google of a 17 and allow them to be found for about 891 keywords, bringing them about 515 actual visitors to their website every month. Now, we could actually click their referring domains and look at these, and we could get some of the same websites pointing back to your site that we have pointing to theirs. And so all we have to do for some of these is make a profile, go on, and maybe sign up for some of those sites, and then we can get the same ones. And if they work for them, for Masters Roofing, they're going to work for you guys as well. And then we're going to put more on top so that we can beat them. So you guys do have some trust and power, but this is actually coming from Google's business site. It's not actually coming from your site specifically. So if we look at the specific numbers, nothing's really showing up for the backlinks, referring domains, or keywords, or organic. All right, so just to recap, to get into the organic session, we want to have 15,000, we have 1,500 words of content to 2,000 words of content. We want to make sure we have the keywords in, like we use an example, Roofing Memphis, Tennessee, in our content on our page. So when people search it, they're going to find us for it. And then you also want to make sure that Google can trust your site by having some really strong sites pointing back at yours. Now, the other thing you could do is get into this map pack or GMB Google My Business. And the way to do this is through citations. And citations are when you get your business name, address, and phone number 
those three pieces of information all listed with directory sites such as Yelp, Yellow Pages, Home Advisor, Better Business Bureau, or your social media such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, etc. And um, so these top three are going to show up on this front page here where, where you people are kind of doing searches looking for roofing. They're going to get about 30% of the total volume coming through. So the 70 people searching every month, 30% will hit one of these three. And you can see their phone numbers are here as well as their websites. They're easy to find for them. And the other option for getting on this page would be if you wanted to pay for ads, you would just have to basically outbid these three and pay more than what they're paying and you would show up ahead of them. All right, so I hope this video was helpful for you. If you guys had any questions or wanted to hear some more information, like I said, we could set up a quick call. I'll give you guys a call anyway in the next day or so just to see what you thought of the video and if it was helpful. Thank you for your time and have a great day.